Welcome back to her channel, not mine. We're doing it again. Yeah, bro. Yeah, bro. <laughs> Hello, everyone. Welcome to or welcome back to my channel. I am here with the lovely Christian Gilbert, aka Mossy Socks, aka Moss Man, aka Mossy. Hey, what else do they call you? Chrissy, Chrissy, Chris. but mm. Mm. we are finally together in person, which is huge. We've been social media friends for like a couple months now, like a year. A what? Yeah, if I go like way oh, back right, right, to right. like, yeah, yeah, yeah. like one of my like sword videos, you've like commented on it. Oh, yeah, no, like okay, way yeah, back yeah, when. Right, right. Today we are going thrifting because Moss Man here is a pro and i do mean a legitimate pro at finding his fantasy forest core fairy grunge outfit aesthetics at thrift stores and i don't understand how he does it so he's gonna show me and it's gonna be great we're gonna do it best yeah <laughs> we're gonna go to some sword store that he knows because we're run fair weirdos and we like swords and knives and it's gonna be great and we're gonna take you guys along with us okay onward right. wait are so, we getting cookout first yeah yeah Bring me to cookout. Tell me your favorite Lord of the Rings character. It's going to be a tie between Boromir of Gondor oh, or Treebeard. Ha! <laughs> yeah, because it, those are, they represent both of my favorite things about Lord of the Rings. Boromir is a great, great character, and I couldn't understand him when I was a child. I hated him as a child, but when I grew up, I was like, wow, this guy is a great role model of what humanity is, right? In a fantasy world. It's a guy, just a normal guy, with nothing but his his will and his love of his, his, his homeland. And that's what he's got moving forward. And sure, he gets tempted by the powers of evil, like all men do, but he perseveres. And I think that's beautiful to understand. That, and then there's Treebeard, and I just like trees. My favorite's Aragorn because I'm basic. That's not basic. I think that's great. I don't know. Aragorn, he gets the height that he deserves. Yeah. So it's not basic, it's deserved. You know what's cute? Mm -hmm. Look at our matching rings of power. Mine's silver though, because I only wear silver jewelry. So his is more ring of powery. They're going to Mount Doom to. Uh huh. Get the fire out. Okay, you're done. <laughs> you're done. I make a pun. And then you destroy me for it every time. Every oh time. my gosh. What was the one you put in the Discord the other day? Howard Shore is. What was Howard it? Howard Shore did plenty of punches on the soundtrack. <laughs> I was like, it was genius you're done. and you, you rejected it. I did not. I thought it was beautiful. It was so beautiful. I thought it was great. Incredible. I feel like I made another pun. It was a Hunger Games pun, but I don't remember what it was now. I don't either. Maybe we'll have to do. Top 10 Hunger Games puns we found on Google. Yes. I'm pretty sure I have like a whole memes page for, for on Gale? Pinterest. Oh. No, well, that's yes. The hate, that's the hate page. Right? But that's the Gale slander. We don't like Gale. We don't, we don't like Gale. hate him. We hate him. I'm kind of indifferent about it, I'll be honest with you. I know, but you play along and I appreciate it. I do, I do. <laughs> Woo! <laughs> that was so scary. Get him, there you go. Here. Okay, let's say it's the Hunger Games, mm -hmm. right? Yes. And the game's about to start. Yep. You're in it. Yep. What weapon are you running for first? I'm stepping off the plate early. Oh my gosh! I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding, everybody. Just kidding. I would go for a bow and arrow. Of course. Because I can actually... You're still in shock. <laughs> I would just call it a day. I'd be like, take me home, Jesus. Okay. Yeah. You're like, do you need to talk to somebody? Legitimately, I would go for a bow and arrows because it's the only thing I think that I could use that I would actually stand a chance. And that's not me being like, oh my gosh, I like, want to be like Katniss. Well, like I can shoot a bow and arrows. Like maybe not Katniss good, but I can I can do it. I feel like I would just try and hide and like out outlive everybody. I'm not smart enough to do that. Well, um, it's a good thing you're like martial art, jujitsu, knife throwing. He's like so many. He's got so many skills. I get their knives. Kind of, very amateurly, and they don't, they don't turn the way that I need them to turn. But I try, I would throw them anyway. Maybe the, the blunt end of the knife would like bump the guy in the head. If you threw it hard enough. Oh yeah, for sure. You're like PETA, where she's like, PETA can throw a hundred pound sack of flour right over his head, I've seen it. I've seen it. And they're like fighting over it, and I'm like, can you guys stop being 12? Like. <laughs> oh yeah, they're like. My father buys her squirrels. 
She shoots every single one in the eye. Mm -hmm. This place is probably going to be chock full of fish. Yeah, our favorite. Christian and I don't really go out into the universe. Um, yeah. This is a rare occasion. Yeah. We're gremlins. Cave gremlin. Cave gremlin <laughs> hermits. Uh, I stay inside and read books, and you stay inside and play video games. <laughs> it's my job. I must. That's true. What a great segue into, oh my gosh, everybody needs to go check out Christian's Twitch. Um, I think it's just, what is it, Mossy underscore Socks? Mossy underscore Socks. Mossy underscore Socks. Go subscribe to his Twitch channel. Oh, man. He's super entertaining. The Kinley shout out. It's, if you're interested in things of that sort of just chaos, but also very cozy vibes at the same time. I guess that's the place to be. It's a really happy place to be. Everybody also, loves each other. That's how I feel about like your socials there too. Oh, thanks. I think you combined it two very well as well. Aww. Shucks. Well, isn't that just what books are? It's like the act of reading a book is a very comforting and warm thing. But, you know, it's also, I think, when it comes to medical fantasy, it's, just, it's absolute wonderful chaos. Is this too far away from the land or can we walk? You can walk. Can walk? You can walk. If your boot... Oh my gosh, my butt is fine. If your foot is too wounded, you can hop on my back like a turtle, like a turtle shell. I'm the king of parking. I'm the best parker. They call me Peter. Let's do this. Okay. I'm sorry. If I think about it, mm. I was actually like in a fantasy world. I would be dead probably within a week. Like if the stuff that happened to my fantasy characters actually legitimately happened to me, mm. I would be dead in a week. But... Bloody brilliant week. It would. Find my fey man. I... Before you died in the week, man? Mm-hmm. <laughs> and then... He could, like, use some magic or something to bring me back as a fey. <laughs> so I, like, my mortal body dies, but then I come back even stronger. And then you can continue living? Right. With, like, powers. <laughs> it's my plan. You just want to be an Akatar. Correct. I'll read that book at some point. That seems like some one day. Yeah. When I'm brave enough. What's the audio book? Brave enough? <laughs> what does that have to do with anything? I don't know. I'll read it on Discord and then you can just join in. Hmm. If you had a pet dragon, okay. what um, color would okay. it be? I thought you were going to ask the name. I didn't do my research on what it was. No, I know. I wasn't right. going to put you on the spot like that. Okay. I was already there. What color, what color, like, of its scales? Yeah, like, what color would it be? I would want my dragon to be like one of those dragons that look like mammals. So it had like hair. It has like antlers. It's like a, basically a big flying deer. But it's a dragon. That would be the one. Mammal dragon. I've never judged you for anything you've ever said. And you have said some interesting things. <laughs> but that, that is a little too far. A deer dragon? It would be. Think about it, it's like, you know, instead of its horns, like it's just really big old antlers. Okay. <laughs> I can't even like fake hype that up. That's I like- I was gonna come up with like a name merging deer and dragon and I realized this is gonna be dragon again. A deer merging dragon? Deer ragged. Uh, oh. <laughs> oh, I see what you're saying. <laughs> You'd have to do like, um, drear? Drear? Yeah. Drear? Drear din. Reardon. Sounds kind of cool. Reardon. I don't know. I think it's a really weird animal in general, but... The fabled Reardon rider. Yeah. That's a... That's something. It's thrift store time, ladies and gentlemen. You will have to excuse the editing portion of this video. I was taking everything vertically for Christian's TikTok and forgot to film horizontally for this video, so it's cropped weird, but you get the idea. This was definitely coming with us. It's the perfect mossy sock sweater. Then Christian found this mug, which was definitely cursed. It was so horrid. It was bad. I am not talented like Christian at thrifting. I basically try to find the largest, most comfy, neutral outfit that I possibly can find that gives basically comfy book nerd, and I call it a day, so Kinley approved. Can Kinley get this shirt back on the rack? We don't know. We really, truly don't know if she can. Christian Mossy approved this mug, unlike the cursed blue jean one, so success. This part's pretty basic. Christian finds brown shirt. Christian likes brown shirt. Christian finds olive vest. Christian likes olive vest. Christian being a weirdo. This was one of the Henleys that I found that I was obsessed with. Super comfy book nerd. I love it. Kinley approved.
Christian found these shorts that did have real pockets in it. It was definitely giving Hobbit, so he, and I quote, Hobbity approved it. Christian then found this dress that he figured he could cut and turn into a vest. It was actually very impressive that his brain worked that way to come up with this. Mossy approved. Hey guys, my name is Christian Gilbert, and I only wear green and brown. You're gonna take a ratty old belt that you've scavenged from a parking lot. <laughs> You're actually gonna tie it around the waist and cinch it. We invested in an actual stand. Holder thing. Yeah, like for the phone on the dashboard. And now it's not gonna fall on turns and I don't have to hold it. We're finally going to the store store. I feel like I needed to grab it, but I don't. You don't. Ah! We're so we're such professional content creators. We are. We are the makers what of we, content. What we, do you wanna Shut see me do like a really sick 21 pilots wrap? I do actually. Is it um which one is it from? Oh to sleep, vessel. That's the one. I love to run puns yearly. Wait, really? No, you don't. I do. I don't, I'm not like super familiar with all the songs, but the songs I do listen to, absolutely. I'm pleading, please, oh please, my knees repeatedly asking why it's got to be like this. Is this living free? I don't want to be the one, be the one who is sung, blood on my hands out to the moon. Take this left and forge in darkness, some see a pen, I see a harpoon. <laughs> Just wait till the second verse. I'm really gonna impress you. I'm already impressed. Don't you wanna see me do I Hamilton? Watch. I will watch you do anything. A few moments later. I remember that dream like candlelight, like a dream that you can't quite place. But Alexander, I'll never forget the first time I saw your face. <laughs> Two hours later. Where are you taking me? I'm about to change your life by all means, either way. I'm a girl in a world in which my only job is to marry rich. My father has no son, so I'm the one who has to social climb for one. I'm the oldest and the wittiest and the gossip in New York City is insidious. And Alexander is penniless. That doesn't mean I want him any less. Six hours later. I think I've, I think I could die. I just lost my mind. It only took us a million years to get here, but we are finally on our way to the sword store. There's Cutie Christian. Here it is. Uh, look at all those happy little weapons that made me a happy little Kinley. These are the Harry Potter wands that are obviously a must at a sword store. I don't know why, but it's a thing. Christian being Christian. Also, I found this cane that was definitely giving Kaz Brecker. I was successful at said sword store. Watch this, guys. It's giving Ahsoka Tano, but like with knives. This is the coolest thing I've ever owned in my life. We have great lighting right now. We do. I've got this. The sun is setting. Oh, we gotta go. I'm making a wrong turn, but we're okay. We're fine. Oh, of course you are. No, it's fine. It's fine. We. We can just loop around. If you can get making to the. Making a maneuver. Hey. hey, hey. Okay. If you can get to the Ferris wheel, you can get to yeah, yeah, yeah. the location we need to be at. They call me Christian, the guy who drives. Okay. Safely. We're going to the beach. So thanks everybody for watching. <laughs> <laughs> this is my Valley Girl voice, apparently, that I have that Christian doesn't leave me alone about. And um It's there. It's there sometimes. It creeps out. It's I think it's like very constant. Do you know I literally think I'm gonna ask the Discord and be like, guys, do I sound like a Valley Girl? Like do all a the vote. time. Do a vote. I gotta show up on the Kindly content. I think it's crazy. Of course you do. I feel very honored. I could have come all this way to not have put you on the content. Uh, I'm gonna link all of Christian's information in the description below. You guys need to follow him on everything. If you like cozy fantasy forest court, fairy grunge outfits, and a beautiful human being with wonderful hair, you guys should definitely go check out his stuff. 
It, you, anyway, thanks for coming on this chaotic journey with us. I'm glad I got a weapon. That was definitely the highlight of my life, we did. actually. Yeah, we did do that. We filmed it, too. We did film nice. it. Nice. Ah. <laughs> <laughs> ah. Victory. Okay, that's all I have for you guys. I love Bye. you all very much. Thanks for watching, and I will see you lovely humans in the next one. Ciao. Bye. <laughs>